All right, now that we've given the pheasant three different clear water changes, you can see we've removed all the soap from the bird. Uh, you can't, I can't stress too much the importance of making sure all the soap has been removed from all the bird feathers. If it takes more than three soaks, that's just fine. You just want to make sure there's no more soap floating up in your tub. Now that it's been thoroughly cleaned, we want to take an injection fluid and inject the wing tips or the owner bone. There is a small amount of meat in here that could start to rot if it's not injected. We're using a bird feed injection fluid. There's a number of other chemicals out there that work good as well. One of those is preserve it. So we just put a, a little bit of the bird injection fluid into a syringe and we're going to inject this into the tip of the wing right into where all this meat is. And just want to inject a small amount. If you put too much in, it'll start to leak back out. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it at this stage in the process, is so that way after I inject it, I can put it right back into the water and wash all this fluid off the feathers. It'll stay in the meat, but you want to make sure it doesn't get onto the feathers. We'll repeat the process with the other wing tip. It's also very important whenever you're working with syringes with chemicals that you don't poke yourself. Safety is always of utmost concern. Now that we've washed all that off the wingtips, we're ready to wring out the bird. So to do that, we're going to lift it right out of the water. I'm just going to start squeezing all of the water off the bird, out of the feathers. Now that we've wrung all the water out of the feathers, at this point we can either put it into a tumbler or if you don't have access to a tumbler with corn cob grit, you can start the drying process with either a blow dryer or a bird blower. And we'll go over all that in future videos. All right, now that we have the bird washed, we want to put it into a tumbler. This is a 55 gallon corn cob grit tumbler that you can buy from Van Dykes. They do come in smaller sizes as well. If you don't have access to a tumbler, you can also put some corn cob grit into a cardboard box and hand tumble it. Now, we're using a fine corn cob grit. We filled the tank up to about half, half to, about to the halfway point. We are now going to put the pheasant in. We're not going to put the tail in. We're just going to put the bird in itself. We want to open the bird up like this, set it inside the tumbler. I usually put a small handful of corn cob grit inside the bird. We will clasp the lid shut and turn it on. We're going to let this tumble for about 10 minutes depending on the dryness of your corn cob grit. It could be a little bit quicker or it might take a little bit longer. It's something you want to monitor. You don't want to completely dry the bird out in the tumbler. You want it to get to about three quarters dry and then finish it off with either a hair dryer or a bird blower. All right, now that our bird has finished tumbling, we want to take it out and shake off all the excess corn cob grit. You want to shake that right off back into the tumbler. It's about three quarters dried. That's as much as you want to dry it in the tumbler. Otherwise the feathers might have a matted look. You always want to finish the drying process with either a hair dryer or a bird blower. Bring it over to the workbench. You can use a hair dryer for this next step. We are actually going to be using a bird blower. This is a master blaster bird blower. They come in a variety of different sizes. This is the 4.0. Uh, you can buy this from Mackenzie Taxidermy Supply. There's a variety of different uh, bird blowers on the market. So what we want to do now is we are going to keep the bird right on this table and we're just going to start blowing all the feathers.
Now, as you can see, we have the bird all dried and ready to mount. One thing that I want to quick point out, you only want to dry the feather side of the skin. You don't want to be drying the inside as if you do that, that's going to make it hard to manipulate the skin when you're sewing up the bird. If the skin on does dry out too much, you can use your water bottle to lightly moisten the inside of the skin and that'll rehydrate it and make it much easier to mount. At this time, we want to borax the skin. We're just going to take a handful of borax, go right inside of the bird and start rubbing this all around the skin, making sure it covers all the areas of the skin coming down the neck. As you can see, we have a few holes that we will have to sew. A lot of the borax is leaking out of those. You want to make sure that you cover every inch of the skin with borax. That's going to act as a preservative and help to preserve the skin. You want to get in the wings as well. Make sure borax covers every inch of the skin. Then once you have borax everywhere, you want to just remove all of the excess just by shaking it out of the bird.